Tatiana, it's great to have you at the Betfred World Championship. How has it been to referee here for the first time? Um, it's a great experience to be in the Crystal Ball. It's a dream of every referee to referee the Crystal Ball. And when I start thinking from where I'm start when I started, like back in 2010, and where I am now, it, it's amazing. I never thought it would happen. Um, yeah, it's really great. You were out there marking, weren't you, before you refereed your first match? But what was it like coming here and walking down those steps, knowing you were going to pull the gloves on here for the first time? Um, if, talking to um, people like Brendan and Jan, they would say, oh, it's a shame there is no crowd for you for your first time in a crystal ball. But it was really nice that when I walked out for the first time, um, my colleagues who were marking and the TV crew, they all clapped. And it just it made me really happy and it made that moment more special just for them to, you know, to acknowledge that, that it is my first time walking out there and um, yeah, it, it made me like tear up a little bit and I can only imagine what it would have been like with the full crowd but even without crowd it, it's been really special. And it's a huge, huge compliment because as you well know we have a, a wealth of, of, of refereeing talent. Um, yeah, it, it's also been nice, you know, um, before the event talking to Brendan and Jan and Paul and Olivia, all our assessors that say that you deserve to be here, you're here on merit and uh, just be proud of what you achieved and uh, just to hear those words, it just uh, makes you so happy and uh, people appreciate what you're doing. Um, so yeah, that, that's put a lot of confidence in me that yeah, I'm, I'm here because I deserve it. It's a funny thing for referees, isn't it, doing interviews and things like this because when you speak to the top referees, people like Brendan Moore, they, they will always say the best compliment is if they've been told that they weren't noticed. Yeah, that, that, that's true. That's, uh, that's the biggest compliment we can get as a referee is when the players say that yeah, we don't even notice that the referee's there, but at the same time, they do know if something happened, we are there to, to resolve it and to make sure it, the game sort of goes on how it should. Yeah. It's been a strange time for everybody globally, throughout the world, wherever you are. Um, how nice has it been to have this light at the end of the tunnel and something to, to really look forward to and, and now to cherish? Um, definitely. When I first found out that I'm doing crystal ball, I was back in March and it was still uncertain if the event in April was going to go ahead or, or not. Um, when it was actually postponed, I was just hoping that it will eventually go ahead. And uh, when we found out that it's been rescheduled for July, I was, I was so happy, I was like delighted. Um, and it is something to look forward to, to cherish. And we are part of the history. Um, hopefully it will never happen again, the year that we're having now. But um, to be part of it is, yeah, it's pretty special. And you've ticked a few boxes this season because we spoke to you in the season when you refereed your first ranking final in Riga. It was kind of your local event, yeah. or as local as it, as it comes for you. Um, you seem to be doing all the right things. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. I really enjoyed the final in Riga and to finish the season refereeing in Crucible makes it even like a greater year for me as a referee in my career. And I just I hope to just go on from here and I don't know, do bigger things in the future, hopefully. Thanks for talking to us, Tatiana. Thank you, Sam. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.